guys. Today in Box Garage, we're going to go and try and quiet down the Bronco. So if you don't know, this is my 96 Bronco. I swapped into 73 Power Stroke under the hood. I've been driving it on and off for about a year and change now. I've been doing a few upgrades here and there. And I'm finally getting to the point where I'm on the street. Most of the time of this truck is also spent on the trails. One complaint I have with it is that it's loud. And it's a diesel, it's got a five inch exhaust. But even just the motor's loud, and I've run into some issues with that where I'm trying to just get spotted or talk to someone outside the truck. And you, you gotta yell a little bit. So, I'm looking for a cheap fix on that. My thought is an underhood liner. It's like the insulation, it helps keep the heat off the hood, which is okay, but I really wanna see people help quiet this down any. I've gone through the forms, some people say it helps, some people say it doesn't. And for 50 bucks, I thought I'd buy one, give it a shot, and let you guys know how it works. So what I'm gonna do here, is I've got this cheap decibel reader off of Amazon, it's about 20 bucks. And I'm gonna go and do a couple of readings. I'm gonna get two in front of the truck, kind of where you'd be if you were spotting someone. I got 10 feet out and 20 feet out. I've got one 10 feet out to the side, right off this tire. And then I'm gonna get two inside the truck. One with the windows up and one with the windows down. And I'm going to do this all twice to start. I'll do it once at idle, and I'm going to do it once at high idle. So I got a decent group of numbers. Then I'm going to go through, install this hood liner, and do the whole thing over again. Do all my readings once at idle, do them all again at high idle, document it all, and see where we're at. So. At this point, I'm going to go take this off of here, set this thing on a tripod, and get to it. If you guys uh, enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. It really helped build the channel up, and I'd appreciate that. And if you're looking for more info on this thing, i got a bunch of videos covering it. So, let's get rolling. So, before we go and turn this thing on, I just wanted to get a background reading. With me talking, it's a little bit higher, but I'll be quiet for a second and let this drop down. So 40 is usually about indoor noise level, like just a quiet room. So 50 out here, it's a little windy, some leaves are rustling. That makes sense. I'm just gonna go drop this thing down and put it inside the truck. Also, this is uh, 20 feet away to the front. So there's my 10 foot marker. That's my other 10 foot marker over there. Let's check what the noise level is inside. So we're in the high 30s before I started talking in here. We jumped up to 65, almost 70. And that's kind of what you'd expect. Inside house is 40. This is sealed a little bit better and there's nothing on. So we got our base levels. Let's go and turn this thing on. Okay, so the truck's on at low idle. I think we're about 72. Call it 73. Let me write that down and then we'll move up. This side, we're looking at like 76 and a half, almost 77. Call it 77. And before we get in the truck, while it's still relatively not windy, I'm just going to move to high idle and try this again. So idle there is about 700 and change, probably. Let's go up to high idle. It's 11 to 12, so let's try this again. Well, that's 76 at 20 feet. And we're at 73. At 20 feet, we're at about 81. We're at the 78, so we went up to three consistently there. From the side, we're looking at about 79. So, 77, almost consistently three decibels across the board. Okay, so we're back in low idle. Let's see where we're at. So that 70 flat inside the truck with the windows up, which is quieter than outside. Let's see it in high idle. Now. 
73. So we're consistent again with the three decimals. That's about two and a half on the last one. I changed that up. Now let's go to the windows down. We'll go back to high idle over there on the tuner. Drop the windows down. Call it seventy two point two. Yeah, let's we'll go at seventy two flat on that one. And now for high idle. Here are our numbers. Let's go put that insulation on and see what kind of change we get. I'm not expecting a ton, but I'd be willing to bet maybe, I don't know, one or two decibels. Let's see if it's worth it. So it looks pretty good up there. It's thick. Maybe it's like three eighths of an inch thick. Um, I'm not sure if it'll actually do anything, but I guess it's time to find out. Let's get to it. So we're here at 20 feet right in front, same spot. We got a little breeze going now, but a second ago it was uh, just under 73. So I'm going to mark that as 73, I believe. Same as last time there. So let's move up. Got our 10 foot mark. Not looking like it does too much yet. We were right where we were. So maybe we'll hop a little bit more in the cab. But first, let's check out high idle. Still at that 76 number. Side and see if it does anything there, but I don't think so. I don't think it went up any. I think maybe we're just getting a little bit of wind here. So not really anything out here. I didn't really expect a ton. But in the cab is more where I was expecting, so let's see. No change. Let's go up to high idle. Let's go and go to high idle 
the truck here and we'll go through what we had. So on our left, we have our non-insulated and the right, we have a hood that is insulated and everything is basically identical. A few of the readings might be like a half a decibel off or uh, possibly even the windows up on and here's like a one and a half off. I think that's just in our margin of error. I don't think this thing really did anything. It'll probably go and keep your paint cool on the hood if that's something you're after, if you have a real nice paint job. And it'll keep some heat in your engine bay, which is probably not good for my application. So I probably wouldn't recommend it unless you just like the clean look of it. It does look good. But uh, if you're looking to quiet things down, I'd start somewhere else. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you have any questions, feel free to let me know. Have a good one.